Those are the words. Say la vie. We are at Two Chicks District Co. And I am standing here with the hometown girl made good, Mina, right next to me. Uh, tell me a little bit about this this space that we're in. This is uh, so cool. Yeah, I mean, we're about a year and a half in, which is, uh, gosh, I'll think a little more than that. Amazing during a uh, pandemic with brick and mortar. So very excited. But uh, it's got a bistro on the front with like beer and wine and sandwiches and coffee. And then the back is our store, which we just really wanted to be able to have like things you see on the show, be able to come get them and then be affordable. Um, but really exciting stuff. We're going to seven days a week starting Monday. We've got the kids line launching here on Monday. Um, all new hours, all new menu. So it's an exciting time. I'm glad you mentioned the, the children's line. Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, I, my kids dress better than me uh, most <laughs> of the time, but again, I just, the same thing idea with the store, like something simple, easy, cute, affordable. Um, you know, I see some moms with like seven piece outfits on their nine month old and I, I can't get my life together for that. So, you know, cute pair of pink bell bottoms and a t-shirt, you're done. And it's all really affordable. You, I, I, I said a moment ago, hometown girl made good. I mean, you are becoming, a, and already are a mega star. <laughs> right here in Indianapolis. Is is it ever overwhelming? I think I think because we're in the Midwest, not so much. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everyone here is already super friendly. So it's just like I have more friends. <laughs> and one of the things that's going on right now is obviously the home show. Yeah. Um, are you just running around like a maniac? Oh, yes. Um, we just wrapped up a very intense project that had a wedding on Sunday that was definitely not ready. Um, so kind of coming up for air for a second for that and then all the changes going on in the store but the home show is something we love doing every year so I'm excited to do that and I think um, Bobcat and MJ my designer might swing by so we've got some fun stuff. And I, I'm a big fan of, of Good Bones. Uh, you. Tell me about how that is proceeding and what's next. Good Bones is filming season seven. I imagine we'll be rolling into a season eight mid this year unless people get sick of us. And uh, we are close to finishing our spin-off show, which is Good Bones Risky Business, uh, which is very cool. It's one giant property, six episodes, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It was a terrible decision to buy, and <laughs> I did it anyways, and it's the whole project in six episodes. Well, you bring up a good point, because this isn't just a show. You really do this. Yes. I mean, you are you are taking houses with good bones and turning them into, into really special places. Yeah. Um, Tell me about that work aside from what we see on TV. Uh, it takes a lot longer than the 42 minutes per episode you see uh -huh. on TV. Um, we've done somewhere in the range of like 120 houses, uh, around 30 million um, into the city, um, you know, where you just poured new curbs, so helping with infrastructure, hopefully. And I think overall, just making Indy a more well known place for people to want to come visit and spend their money. One final question When you are at the home show, are there a million people? trying to get a selfie with you, pulling you in a hundred directions? There are, and it's super tricky right now because our production team is like on this very close, uh, close-knit protocol for COVID because if we have an outbreak, we have to stop. So may not be able to do like the hugging meet and greet, but we'll definitely do some, some distant selfies. When we get done with this, can I take a selfie with you? Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> she's Mina, she's awesome. And here we are at the home show talking to Mina.